and welcome to this uh, edition of General Howitzer's Big Monster Briefing Room. I am General Lemuel T. Howitzer. I gotta wear this name tag up close to my neck, which really drives me nuts because most of the time we put it on the lapel, lapel down here anyway. Um, so, but glad to have you. Uh, and this is a, an interesting episode, I will say, because uh, it is basically about one of the most heinous alien attacks on the planet. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, let me bring up my co-host, uh, oh. Major Millie Hazard. Well, hello, General, and hello, cadets. I want to give you a salute from Yonkers. I'll call you later. We have a lot of coffee talk up here in New York, in Yonkers. Careful, I have a careful. degree. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a little dangerous. Copyright. <laughs> I've been uploading videos this week, and they're getting copyright notices. What? what? There's too many copyright notices. I need to free the copyright. Freedom of speech, everybody. We, we have permission. We have permission. <laughs> we have permission. Damn it. I can say that. And by the way, none of my videos are made for kids. I'm, <laughs> let me make that clear None of right them. Now. There's not even one. There's none of them made for kids. That's you right. Because you can't you. monetize that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> monetize. That's how I, that's how I say it too. We can't mon monetize. <laughs> Is it monetize? I, I, no, it's money. Monetize. I want to say monetize. It's always monetize. Because there's always ties to the money. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. So, so we're um, a little late today. People wanted to yes. know, but it, it, we're okay. Everything's we're fine. fine. We now just, we're... I wanted to have a little production meeting. <laughs> we had with a pre-production. Major Hazard before the show. And uh, you pinned you her know, down. I had it. You had and it. I had it. I said what I needed to say. She said what she needed I to say. I said my piece. <laughs> you know, and there it is. So not, not important. Uh, the important thing to know is we're here now and we're going to do this thing. And yes, it is about Earth versus the Flying Saucers. 1956 training film of the most heinous alien attack in the history of our planet. But I get a little hungry when I watch this one, General. I get a little hungry because it reminds me of like pie cans or some kind of dessert's going to be in the UFO. Pie I cans? Get very, yeah. Like I feel like I'm going to No, 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 no. That was, that was Plan 9 from Outer Space. That's a later show. That's oh, a I got them mixed up. So I shouldn't be hungry. This one was actually Ray cold. Harryhausen did the special effects, and he did a bang-up job on it. It's really good flying saucer. We're going to see what they look like. We're going to introduce them to the cadets. So what do you now want? The, the alien robot costumes, <laughs> <laughs> not the greatest. They're, they're not costumes. Okay. They're real. They're not costumes. They're real. By today's standards, you know. <laughs> but in any case... Uh, it is a training film. So, you know, again, yes. Uh, I, I realized that budgets back then weren't as big as they are now. And, and yes, some people would say that uh, Independence Day, also known as ID4, <laughs> yeah, make that more cooler than it is, you know, was a more heinous attack and, uh, you know, or aliens, you know, mm. or predator. But no, I, this is the most heinous attack uh, of an alien invasion here on, on this planet that I know of. I mean, they, they sucked out two guys' brains, and then they threw them out of the flying saucer in a fiery, and in a fire that they started. I mean, who does that? Who does that? Really? I mean, it's just like not not, not even. I'll just say there's some people who are associated with some other people and organized crime, and even they don't go to that. You know, even in New York, we don't do that. And you know, blowing up the White House. What? What? Why do aliens just immediately want to go blow up the White House? They always do, General. You know why? Because you have to take out the head. They're always trying to come for our leadership, which is why I'm so glad you give. Yeah, Mars attacks. That was country. another one. That was Mars another one. Attacks. Mars attacks. See my finger. Mars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mars attacks. I always get backwards. I always think that it's the left hand and the right hand. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, ID, ID four, Mars attacks. They, they all go right for the White House. You know, 
It's really the first thing they do because they want to create chaos and you have to take out the leadership to do that. It's military strategy, General. Don't they know that when there's an alien invasion, though, the president's not going to be sitting in the Oval <laughs> Office going, hey, I wonder where these aliens are. Well, sometimes not they do. <laughs> in some of these training films, that's what they do. They fly them out to a bunker somewhere. Almost the vice president's on the front line going, God, I hate this job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. But they go right for the White House and just blow up the White House. Immediately. You know, <laughs> and maybe the Pentagon. I, have they blown up the Pentagon in any alien movie? I don't remember. That's the one I, they should do. I feel, I feel like they I mean, I'm not though. trying to you know, start a problem. And get let's aliens not like, worry about hey, it. he's right. I'm let's taking not, notes. We don't, want, we don't want any aliens. To, if you, aliens, aliens, if you are listening to this, you, have, you must come I was in just peace. kidding. We, we'll come. You have to come in. What is it? Hawking said, "Don't don't try to find the alien." They'll come down here. You know, he said, "Is that one of the impressions?" Go searching it for him. Is that one of the impressions? No. <laughs> I don't know why. I should it's probably not. add that. You should probably add that. We're getting close. Why to are we thousand. getting into this discussion? Oh, sorry. I'm just a little. I'm a little obsessed with Guinness Book <laughs> yes, of World Records. Yes, and Lawrence Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. There's aliens in the planet. <laughs> do you do um, Lucille Ball? Yeah, that's all I do. That's yeah. all I do. That's all she did. Ricky, so. Ricky, <laughs> do you do him? Do you do? Will you stop Lucy? making me do impressions? It's embarrassing. <laughs> well, we're trying to promote because Mr. Roy Penlin is the man of a thousand. I'm just going to say a thousand voices. He's going to set the world record. It's going to be in August. He's amazing. Every I do ten or fifteen impressions. Lawrence Welk is one of them, but he does eight hundred and up to a thousand. <laughs> Well, General, you do tend to emit some noises that the cadets really like. I hope you emit some more noises, especially when you drink <laughs> peach tea. Speaking of emitting noises. <laughs> this is not being it's fitting. It's over the airwaves. Oh, that was a white one. Oh, my gosh. Nine oh trumpets. Trouser trumpets. Oh, my God. That was for Ruby Ray Moore. She's one of our viewers. She mm. loves that. Mm. <laughs> Again, it's not for kids. How would some noises... Howard's noises does need to be its own show, Howard's or at least a montage. Noises. We need a montage. <laughs> this is Howard's. <laughs> Howard, this is Howard's noise. Oh, ah, oh, hates them aliens. <laughs> that was a little too realistic. <laughs> <laughs> <So> anyway. <sighs> Okay. But, we, uh, we gotta oh, by, start... by the way, I forgot to ask you in the meeting before the show. Do you have the merchandise photos after the the timeline? Are those there? No. Where are I they? I said those two. Okay, anyway. In okay, but Wait, you have the timeline. Email? That's the most are they an email? Thing. Are they yes. an email? Oh, then yeah. I will. Then I will. Let me go look. So, uh, again, we can do the timeline, and while we're doing the timeline, you can maybe look at that. Okay. Maybe. All right. Let's do I'm that. not. I'm not treating you like a secretary. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Okay. But you should treat me like a major, which is what I am. But you are a major. I am a major. That's you're right. A major. And, and you're, you're a your, your position on this show is very important. Why, thank you. I appreciate that, General. You're, you're I... the glue that holds all of this kaiju together. <laughs> and again, it's not there's no kaiju on this particular episode. There's aliens and flying saucers. But hey, oh, this is the Big Monster it. Institute. Someone said no more canned beans for the general, and I'm just losing it. it <laughs> That's is it. So funny. K rations, K rations. They're, oh. they're right on your stomach sometimes. Okay, let's get to the slideshow so that we can get to yep. the other part of the slideshow. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. We're gonna start with right. this one. The timeline starts out with a with a bomber. I love it. Way to start out your movie. Uh, it's first awesome. thirty seconds of this training film, we see the fighter jet and a saucer. We also get other. Uh, Pictures of saucers. That's what makes so me so hungry. I feel we, like it's going to be start milk out in right there. away with the action. There, the saucers are already here. Thirty seconds. Um, at uh, two minutes. I'm sorry. Yes, two minutes. We get our title shot. Oh, you already passed that. <laughs> yes, we already went past a, that. Two fifty. Uh, a big sign. Maybe go back to that slide. Hey, hey, whoa! Don't get ahead of us. Now. Whoa! <laughs> She's it's trying good. to drive there. I'm trying. To, there you go. Oh, uh, what happened. happened to the sign? Okay. This is uh, awesome. There was a sign in the desert about top, se top secret operation Skyhook. X marks oh. the spot. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't come in there. I don't maybe know why. It didn't, maybe it didn't take. Okay, so here's our know. heroes. Our heroes are uh, Russ and Carol Marvin. They just got married, and they're scientists. Mm -hmm. And look at look at him. He's just he's crazy. They're having a honeymoon in the front seat of the car there on the way to Skyhook. Mm. <laughs> hey, she's trying to drive there, buddy. There you go. So. Um, at three minutes, 
uh, that's three minutes <laughs> at 345. Jesus, man. She's trying to drive. Okay. I, I've already done that one. Uh, he, he, he's, uh, oh. okay. Hit myself with my notes. At 4.30, they're gathering data for rocket launches that will help get satellites up into space. And eventually, man up into space. This is 1956, folks. Remember, this is before Sputnik and the Gemini Project. And look at what happens. They run into an alien. Uh, the, the saucer buzzes right over their car at 5.30, those cheeky bastards. And again, if you were to don't go back to that slide. Go back to that slide. <laughs> this is a good joke. I don't want to miss it. Now, if you're if you're a UFO science nerd, okay, and you do, uh, and what do you do after you see a your first flying saucer? You smoke a cigarette, right? <laughs> it's like good sex. Wow, we just saw a flying saucer. Um, at eight minutes, reviewing the tape that he was making in the car, um, Russ realizes that he's recorded the flying saucer. Actually, it was. Carol that realized that Russ recorded the alien flying saucer um, and it's time for another cigarette. You know, <laughs> it's like, wow, not only did we see a flying saucer, we recorded the sound of a flying saucer. Um, at nine minutes, we meet uh, Carol's dad, who's a general. He's in charge of Skyhook. I guess that's how Russ got onto the project. Uh, and he's in a hurry, damn it. We forgot forgot to salute at the beginning. Beginning. Um, at 11 minutes, he tells Russ and Carol that they need to scrub that day's rocket launch. No can do, sir. This is a very important launch. Now, afterwards, the general tells Russ, hey, you know what? All the other rockets disappeared. That's why I told you to scrub today's mission. You're probably going to lose this one, too. Number 11. And Russ is like, oh, well, I wish I'd listened to you a little closer. Um, in the backyard... Word comes to Rod of uh, Russ that his number 11 rocket is gone. <laughs> Naturally. So they look up and they actually see its remains coming down. Uh, ouch. Uh, even so, they intend to launch number 12 the next day. Uh, it will have cameras and microphones on it so they'll know exactly what happens to the rocket if it's launched. Uh, they think The general thinks they're being shot down. Uh, 1640. Next day's launch. Look at all that sophisticated equipment, will you? Ah, got to go back. <laughs> they didn't even have to colorize that. Look at all that sophisticated equipment. Uh, 18 minutes. Uh-oh, a saucer shows up. We, we I guess we, we figured that would happen. Um, 19 minutes, it lands. Bigger uh-oh. And there's a kind of a force field around the bottom of it there to protect its uh, to protect its guys, its robot guys. Um, 1945, our military starts firing without asking questions first. And then we see our aliens not only have a protective force field, but also a disintegrating ray gun. They have disintegrating ray guns. Yeah. 21 minutes, uh, the aliens blow up the entire launch pad and take the general prisoner. Carol's dad. And I'll wait for that. This is a couple of slides, actually, of the, of the destruction. Look at that destruction. They're just blowing up everything. Bad aliens. Bad aliens. So there it is. And there's the robot guy from the ship. He's going after Carol's dad, the general. I feel sorry for this guy. I really do. He gets his brain sucked up later, and then they throw him out of the saucer just to be mean. And he dies. But again, it was a vegetable anyway, because he got his brain sucked up. Uh, 21 minutes, the alien blows up the entire launch pad. 23 minutes, on board the ship, he is looking more like Floyd the Barber from Mayberry. And there's his brain getting sucked up to the alien. So they know what all the information that's in his brain and his head, now they have it. They know... All the president's names, they know, you know, who won the, the World Series in 1955. They, they know it all now. Um, 24.30, what's worse? They're probing his brain and God knows what else. Uh, 27.40, later, Dr. Marvin discovers that a high-speed message was on his recording from the previous day. Whoopsie. Okay, you're going a little too fast on the slides here. 
Um, the brass in the Pentagon is skeptical. Remember, all the people at Skyhook that saw the saucer, they died. Um, 3130, Marvin is told to sit tight, uh, but in his hotel, he bucks authority and radios the aliens. They arrange a meeting, but Carol doesn't like it. Uh, 3315, she turns dime on her man. Uh-oh. She knows it's serious. He's probably going to get his brain sucked out. 3415, now remember, her dad's been abducted, so she's not happy. Dr. Marvin slugs a guy and takes off in his car. I guess the keys were in it. Uh, and that's the guy that, that, that Carol called. He's a, he's a big wig at uh, the Pentagon. Yeah. He's a, he's a big wig, uh, like MP. He's a guard. <laughs> um, 3445, Carol and the Pentagon watchdog try to talk some sense into Russ via car-to-car -car radio. Interesting. Just like the police have the, the radios, you know, the, the radio dispatches. Evidently, these cars, the government cars, also have that. That's kind of interesting. Um, 3545, they follow Russ to the water's edge where the saucer is waiting for him. And uh, uh, again, there is a police officer also uh, in tow. He's following. So there's Russ looking at the uh, flying saucer from the beach. And everyone goes for a ride on the ship, even the cop who was trying to give him a ticket. That's the next slide. There we go. 4230, General Hanley comes out, and he's drooling. They sucked out his memory. He's a drooling zombie. Not in the traditional sense. 43 minutes. Well, let's, let's, let's see uh, inside the ship here. There they are inside the ship. What they don't realize is that overhead, there's a thing, a crystal thing, that can suck their brain out. And that's the end of the part one. So I'm going to queue up part two, but we do have a lot okay. of comments also. Okay. We, need to, we need to go through some of our comments. So uh, let's see. Can you see that, General? Racy sex scenes in, the, in, in this alien attack. And that's a Facebook user. Come on, log in for crying out loud. Uh, 10 and 2, Lady 10 and 2. I have no idea what that means. Depends if they, again, this is all Facebook users, if they were sh shards or not. Can we get some comments here that make sense? I'm just asking. <laughs> the after sex sick. Yes, that one makes sense. Yes, you got that joke. Good. Uh, brought to you by Paul Mao. Yes, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, again, this was 1956. You could, you, you could actually do cigarette jo uh, cigarette ads. Uh, wow, they switched places. Yes. when they After they saw the saucer, Russ was like, get over, let me drive. <laughs> you know, you're too hysterical. <laughs> uh, get yourself a camel cig and an anal probe. All right. Well, that's what I'm, I'm worried happened to the general. You know, not only did they probe his brain, they might have probed elsewhere. That's specific. <laughs> Check mark. Uh, Troy Moore. Ah, good to have you here, sir. Look at all that sophisticated equipment, will ya? My God, so many switches. So much gray, uh, black and uh, gray <laughs> equipment. <laughs> they didn't even have to colorize it. Uh, I, it was until... This very disturbing and frightening news about flying saucers. I'm just hearing about this. Ah, well, you know, and that's a badass Chevy. Thank you. Yes, um, they had nice cars in this movie. I tried to get pictures of the cars. <laughs> I did because they, they had some really badass cars in this movie. Anyway, uh, and, and I, I like cars. Thank you, Jay Leno. Yeah, he likes really cool cars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that one's in the, the, the 800. Anyway. <laughs> I wish, I wish Hazard were up here because she'd be laughing now. And I love to make her laugh. I do. <laughs> um, so. Oh, I've been here the whole time, actually. Yes. I just realized. I'm yeah, actually but I like here. to watch you go up. Okay, you know, you that's watch what I, it's what okay. I live for. <laughs> Apparently, I was I think there. everybody knows that now. I mean, in their heart, <laughs> they know. I love to crack you up. And so the hand goes up to the mouth. And <laughs> that's they love that. That's I like the that. best part. That's the best part. <laughs> you're, you're like my Harvey Corman. I, I just yes. you off all the time. We're partners in crime. That's what we <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, government cars are badass cars. There's no doubt about that. Um, 
<laughs> that's, right. So, that's right yeah there's there's no alien invasion going on that we're just we're just co covering the training film uh, of the av a uh, gigabaga the alien invasion man i've got mush mouth tonight <laughs> where's, where's my peach tape oh make the noises make the noises <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're waiting for <laughs> oh not that noise okay <laughs> Not that one. The noises, I'm not sure. You know, the peach tea noises is what <laughs> is is what the people want. I think we could repel an alien invasion if more people just farted at them. <laughs> I do. You just fart an alien, and the alien's like, ah, oh, go to another planet. What if they like it? I they think so. Use it as a, they could use it as a fuel source. Oh, they might like it as a fuel, as a fuel source. <laughs> you do that as George T Takai. Oh, oh my. my. Oh my. Oh, you're doing a pretty good George the guy, I guess. <laughs> I just That's discovered good. that. I just discovered awesome. that talent. I didn't know I had that now talent. I want you to say, hey, galactic greetings. Hey, galactic greetings. <laughs> That's not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just the steering guy. Look at what Troy Boy says. <laughs> Troy said a groovy set of action figures behind you, Rory. That's true. It's very groovy. I love it. Well, thank you. Yes, those that's my kaiju collection. Yeah. That's right. Uh, General's on point. Sounds good. Thank you, Mariah. Good to see you. Um, invasion of the fart box. Yes. General Howitzer likes to watch. <laughs> Thank oh my you, God, Mariah. I'm, I'm, I'm not you, getting Mariah. into that with anybody. I don't care who you are. I'm not going to discuss that with you right now on this show. It's not for kids, but hey. It's not. It's, it's, it's not for Pornhub either. Because <laughs> of the lost fart box. Thank you. It's not lost. It's here right next to me. <laughs> I got one for Ruby Ray Moore and I got one for myself. I oh was just so tickled gosh. by it. <laughs> okay, so what do we see? Maybe fart sounds are some sort of primal communication like young. <laughs> You're going back to like the whales, you know, and, and having to having to repopulate the whales on the planet. If the aliens don't hear that, they'll 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 turn the planet into a giant hurricane. That's, that's another movie. Anyway, uh, who is this Roy guy you're talking about, Hazard? Uh, you know, he's one of the regulars. I don't, he's Tom one of the Cheshire, celebrities. You're awesome. Everybody's awesome. Yes. Tom Cheshire's watching. Good. I feel safer already. <laughs> Me too. I always feel safer. I always feel safer with Tom Cheshire around. That's right. Okay. We can move on to the next part. Yeah. Cause it's all fart box comments now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot about Ford and it's enough already. Okay. Oh no, Tom Cheshire's gonna hear my accent. I don't know if it's gonna go over well. He's a real uh, New Yorker. He's a real New Yorker. Yonkers, Yonkers. Yonkers, I'm from Yonkers. The uh, the aliens uh, here want a conference with the Earth's leaders to discuss taking over. Bad idea. Yeah, let's get all of our leaders in front of the aliens so they can zap them. You know, we again, later on, we, we learned that this is not a good idea in uh, Mars Attacks, which we will do on this show someday. We go I just don't want to do, again, I want to do Plan 9 from Outer Space. I want to do Mars Attacks, but we can't do all the alien shows back to back. So, That's as a matter of fact, what are, what are we going to do next week? I don't even know. Uh -oh. What are we doing next Looks week? Looks like it's going to be Horror Express finally. Oh, boy. <laughs> little Christopher Lee, Express. Peter Cushing action. That's or we could do the claw. We could do the giant claw. What about that's frogs? Not, that'll Did be our just... first black and white one. Did we decide we're not doing frogs? Frogs is too boring, I think. I think frogs, frogs. is boring. Uh, it's that's really an interesting boring. One. That's got Sam Elliott in it, doesn't it? I think doesn't so. It? I think yeah. so, but it just was really Sam drawn Elliott. out. Sam Elliott against all them frogs. <laughs> 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 oh, man. All right. Oh, dude, dude. Watch out for that frog. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really good. I'm the dude, man. What are all these frogs doing here? Oh, my gosh. It's um, so good. It's so good. <laughs> Conference with the Earth leaders, yeah, not a good idea. 4630, based on the information the aliens gave to Dr. Marvin, he starts working on an ultrasonic ray gun that might take these suckers down. Problem is, got to back up a few slides. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Sorry, a little ahead. General. Get ahead of ourselves. There it is. Okay, so, but the next slide, aliens are, uh, have a spy satellite snooping device, uh, and it's right there in Dr. Uh, Dr. Marvin's lab. Looks like a looks like one of them spirit orbs you see in the pictures where people say, "Oh, we can take a picture of a ghost." Call Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, uh, Jamie, call Jamie, Jamie would be able to comment on that, yeah. But it's actually an alien uh, spy probe. 
So the aliens arrive and they start blasting everything up, including that an important scientist. And a guy is walking with a cane. He can't even get away. How cruel is that? The guy is, is, is handicapped and they just zap him. Take that. Luckily, we find out in this very scene that bullets do take the aliens down. And there's a face that only a mother can love. <laughs> right there he disintegrates after a few a uh, few seconds of exposure to the air he was well, pretty ugly the, you know the aliens are very upset because we 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 we've, we've, we've uh, started working on projects to to double cross them and they know it now and uh, they start blasting everything so yes aliens fall to hot steel awesome um and marvin grabs the alien's helmet which is very good very cool uh we can examine it and find ways to hurt them <laughs> So, uh, a face only a mother can love. The saucer continues to attack the compound. Our heroes manage to escape with an alien helmet. Yes. And look at that. This is right before they dump the general and that police officer out the, out the door into that fire. How cold is that? How, how, oh my God, I hate these guys. I hate these aliens. Don't you hate them? Yeah. Just, they're so annoying. They are. They're not only annoying, they're just nasty. They're just mean. <laughs> So, so of course we didn't shoot at them first. <laughs> I mean, but they were planning yeah. on taking over anyway. We knew their designs, the designs of the evil minds of the aliens. We knew. Yeah. So from the helmet's translation device, they were able to decode some of their messages. And now we're talking. <laughs> some of their messages were plans of attack. Yeah. So 107, the attack is imminent. Uh, but as one general says, we won't meet it with tea and cookies. I love that line. Mm. We won't meet it with D and cookies. That's a my kind of man. Mm. Um, the attack on DC begins at 110, uh, but we've got Marvin's ultrasonic disruptor. New and improved. There it is. Uh, 114. Yeah, take that, alien scum. Maybe the next slide. There it is. <laughs> take that, alien scum. He's in, that. The, he's in the river now. Uh, 117, another saucer down. And another. See there? Attacking the, uh, the White House. They're always doing that. Who they was come in first. In 56? Was it Eisenhower? I think it was Eisenhower. I think it was Eisenhower. He so. was a general. That's they were right. after him. Another general. So, uh, and another one uh, into the train station there. Nice. Uh, so these are kind of like kamikaze. Uh, oh, oh. National Monument. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be careful. Be careful where you aim that thing. Marvin. Be very careful where you aim. It. <laughs> Again, these guys are like kamikazes. If they if they know they're going down, they just take out a nice building with it or a nice mm -hmm. monument. Yeah. Um, uh, at least this one missed the Capitol building, though. That's the good thing. So one twenty one thirty. You can't make an omelet with ups. <laughs> uh, I spoke too soon. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Uh, government can rebuild contracts. You know government rebuild contracts. That's what I meant to say. They can rebuild. Um, and we'll be ready to dish it out for you double time next time. That's right. And now I do, I do have the, um, the email in question. Okay, good. So maybe, uh, yeah, cause we've been neglecting the merchandise section of the show. Well, we, need to, we need to, we need to, I need to people. get back into that. I need to tell people that there's merchandise, there's merch out there. You can get, uh, uh, for the training films that we show. So this is what I found uh, on eBay. I don't, I don't okay. like to give advertisements or endorsements, but there it is. Um, most of it was on eBay. Some of it was elsewhere. Let me see. Okay, the little aliens? Yeah. Okay, let me That's show the you. One. There it is. Yeah, these are little uh, two inch figures, really. They're not that, they're not that big. Um, but you can get them. See the size of a quarter. Very, very small. They're very small. So, but they're out there somewhere. This is a model kit uh, that you can get. And get this one, okay? Because this is the model kit that's actually licensed and it looks like the real thing. And it even comes with a little diorama. Check that next one out. Yeah, see, there it is built. And uh, there's a little diorama there you can put in front of with the Capitol building <laughs> that you can put it in front of. And it, lo it looks like it has one of those little pizza tables, you know, that keeps the pizza from getting on the, the top of the box. Uh, you can put it on top of that and that's nice. Well, now this one now is just a 3D print of the saucer, and it, they're charging like four times the money for it. So, yeah, don't go with the 3D printer ones. Those are probably not that good. 
I've got a feeling that these 3D prints items that people are making, they're, they're going to like disintegrate or something in a couple of years. So like 10 years down the line, we're going to go out, oh, wow, you know, we should have done that. That's, <laughs> or they're going to find out they're toxic or something. Okay, this is a lobby card uh, showing the alien from uh, uh, Earth versus the Flying Saucers. So there's lobby cards out there. And of course, posters too. Oh, and, and there's a 12-inch figure. That's a 12-inch figure of the alien. Uh, you can get that out there. It's expensive. T-shirts, of course. Um, and uh, there's the poster. It's a Spanish poster, but it's a poster. All right. So that's the merchandise that I found uh, that's out there. And I, and I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, my insurance agent always thinks I need more insurance because there's, there's, there's saucers out there. They, they might buzz your car or crash into it. Yeah. You know, or your house. Uh, kind of the kind of like flying drones. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, maybe we can use drones to to get into that alien. Uh, I don't know. I'm just off the top of my head. Maybe we can use drones to attack alien saucers now that we couldn't use back in '56. Maybe, maybe we've got a laser that will cut through those bad boys. You know, put that on a drone. I want a tour of all those figs on the shelf behind you, behind you, General. <laughs> oh, there's quite a few. They go all the way from the very first Godzilla, uh, all the way up to uh, the latest uh, MonsterVerse uh, monsters. So I've collected pretty much all of them. So uh, and maybe I'll do that one. I actually, actually, I did that, didn't I? One of these uh, a show that we were doing during the break, during the holiday in April. Yeah, you went and did a tour. Yeah, I think I did a tour of it. So look for that on my Facebook page or look for it on rory penland's facebook page it's probably there that's right yes i don't have a facebook page i forgot <laughs> you don't so, do the social media general it's Roy Penland. Sponsors that's recycled from another movie uh i don't think so because again ray harry hausen's pretty good about making his own uh models and stuff uh ray harry hausen was the one that did the special effects for this train film and they're they're exceptional uh i only know bad words in spanish yes we learn the bad words first when we learn a new language, right? Uh, thank you, Bob. <laughs> Got to laugh out of that one. Space Gaties. Space no, I, I, don't, I don't have that training film. Thank you, General. The man of many talents. Thank you, Julie. Always good to have you here. I, I give you a salute. Oh, by the way, if you're interested, we do have some merch of our own. We have General Howitzer hats. Here's the black one with the silver silver stars on it. These are $25. If you want to be the general of your own house and your own home and you and this is the this is actually uh, not the one that I have available. It's this one. This is a tan one. Kind of a Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of thing. <laughs> and again, I can put the black uh, the black uh, stars on it for you. And we have a green one. We have a green one as well with gold stars on it just like this. It's not like this one. It's not camouflage. It's green. It's OD green. Olive drab. And um, again, those are $25. Just uh, contact Rory or Renee and we'll work out getting that to you. It'll take a couple weeks for us to get it to you, but uh, 25 bucks and you can be the your own general and your own home. Uh, wear it when you watch our show. Drones are aliens. Are they? <laughs> that has not been, uh, that has not been concluded com completely. Um, that has not been confirmed. Uh, this is a ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> I, uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe if Major Tom had been up there, he could have warned us about these aliens before they got here. Uh, yes, I like the tan with the black stars. Yeah, that's a cool hat. Uh, with the work kind of aluminum for foil pyramid. Avoid my mind invaded by aliens. Tinfoil hat. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Could be. It's possible. Okay, I got time for a couple more of these. What if there was a rainbow army in the sky made up of charismatic drones? That sounds like a video. <laughs> Troy. That sounds like a video. I'm thinking. Uh, I'll do footage for it if you want. <laughs> uh, and we got smiles. Uh, where's Major Hazard? Then this was recycled into another movie, maybe. Uh, you know, 
again, uh, I, I've seen a lot of nods to this movie in, in Mars Attacks. Um, definitely in Mars Attacks. That, that is definitely a nod to this, this training film. Uh, and uh, again, you know, we, we have other invasion movies with flying saucers. Uh, they're out there. Um, this was one of the first. Uh, but have you ever... What tin foil does it put in the microwave? Yeah, if you're wearing a tin hat, don't, don't put your head in the microwave. That's good advice. Thank you, Mariah. And thank you, Major Hazard. I just took a screenshot of us and all the friendly cadets that we have here. Very good. Just took a little screenshot for everybody. There's Tom Cheshire's heart. The man is full of love. We love him. And, you know, he's at TCB Studios, you know, Tom Cheshire, and also taking care of business, which is what he does all day, every day. He just wakes up in the morning. He takes care of business. He goes to bed at night. He's taking care of business. Tom Cheshire, he just, Cheshire, that's I, the accent. It sounds cool. Tom Cheshire, Cheshire. <laughs> Cheshire, he's very he he's good. He takes care of business. We love he him. Smiles all the time like a Cheshire cat. I bet. I, I wonder he, how many times I know he's he hates that, that joke. He's probably it's probably I've the first probably time heard his life. He's probably giving a sour look towards me. He's probably heard it his whole <laughs> life. Um, and a lot of people think I'm a man full of hate and war, but actually I'm a man who tries <laughs> to protect you from kaiju and and monsters. A man so full of hate a, and war. Yes. Who who caused you that, General? I'm not, I'm I, not it's a, just something I'm paranoid that way. I, <laughs> I think that people like, hate me because I'm a military guy. Oh yeah. You know, you got people you know, spitting on the flag and all that you know nonsense. <laughs> well, I'm trying to protect you from aliens invasions like this one. These these, these guys were nasty. Come on. They were very nasty. And yes, and, a chest uh, with chesh. And I kaiju, with... Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra, those kind of you know King Ghidorah, you know. And uh, next time on the show, I think we're going to be talking about an alien. Well, no, we can't do that one because it's an alien again. So we got to do something aliens. different. aliens. There's too many aliens. Okay. We can't do back to back I, I'm, aliens. I'm making That's a split water. decision right now because we got to get going here. Um, but we're going to do the giant claw next week. It'll be the first black and white training film. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll try to colorize the pictures. How's that? That would be really cool. First time in color, the wow. giant claw. That would be very cool. That would be very cool. Which is about a giant parakeet <laughs> or parrot. So, M Madeline, you need to be here for that one. <laughs> you can do. I want to see Madeline's drawing of the giant claw. So, that's what we'll do next week on the show. It is really a ridiculous training film. It really is. I I feel like we should do Wicker Man. You know, Wicker Man. We should Wicker do Wicker Man. Wicker Man. I'll, Wicker I'll look Man. into it. Okay, and then M. That's about a cult, isn't it? I don't, I don't even know, but Nicolas Cage made a remake and it was hilarious. It was like awful. It was the worst thing ever. Well, the first one was pretty, pretty, it was pretty, pretty bad grim. too. Yeah. The, or Hands of Fate, you know, Manos, Hands of Fate. <laughs> Manos, Hands of Fate. Manos, okay. Manos. What's, yeah. what's that training film about? I don't think I've seen that one. That's about a cult somehow too. There's some weird uh, cult fetish stuff there. But MM says, can we do mummy? Is a cult a monster? Um, is there a giant mummy? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's okay. Well, we're going to do the giant claw. I made a decision. We're going to do the giant claw next okay, week. We're doing Maybe we'll claw. do money. I want to do King Kong Lives, uh, which is available. But I want to talk to Linda Miller to see if she'll come on as a special uh, guest. Okay. To see if she'll talk about King Kong with us. Okay. Okay. But so I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make that call until I can get her confirmation that she's willing to do that. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Okay, so everyone has to stick around because we got No Icing with Drita coming up on no this network. No Icing with Drita coming up in just a couple of minutes. And you're going to have uh, someone who looks a lot like the general. It won't be the general. And someone who looks a lot like me. It's not going to be me, but we're going to have two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a hazard here. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of laugh was that? Did y'all hear that? Holy shit. That hands was the go best. over the mouth. I love it. That, that was the best general <laughs> laugh. I don't think any of us expected the general to laugh the way that you just laughed. Well, I was trying to impersonate you when you laughed. I but actually, you don't, you don't really I, laugh. You just got to... You have to... Someone has to clip it because it was the best it's, general noises ever. It's like a, a Lou ever. Costello thing. It's it was the best general noises we ever had. I'm serious. You got to do it again, general. I'm so serious. Do it again. Let me see if I can... <laughs> Oh, that was a long one. Oh, jeez. God, aliens are flying away as we, as we speak. Oh, 
I love you guys. But that's Troy, what you do. You Troy said he's going to sample it. <laughs> Troy said he's going to sample the howitzer laugh. The howitzer doing Renee laugh. That is... <laughs> I think that's what I did. Do it again I, I... for him. Do it again. <laughs> that's how I laugh. <laughs> I laugh like Paul Lynn. <laughs> When you can really get me to laugh. Uh, that's party laugh. Oh, man. Renee's laugh is the best. It is. Okay. I, uh, howitzer. Uh, hazards. Hazards laugh. Come on, Mariah. Oh, man. Give me program. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of that one. <laughs> i got to take another picture. You know, and, and again, we didn't even write any shtick for hazard this week. We don't. We don't there's no fucking need anymore. It's oh. too crazy. <laughs> F-bomb. Oh, sorry. The FCC is going to be on my ass. Oh, sorry. It's going to be right so. on my ass. Okay. So... <laughs> Hope Stick you enjoyed this training film, Earth versus the Flying Saucers. Bye, I hope everybody. you enjoyed Hazard's laugh, as I always do. Good night, everybody. Said? That's Good right. Night Goodbye, for them big monsters. Okay, bye. Look at my.